better teams each each time we <coughs> play a game, and it's up to us to get better, scratch it out. You know, give credit to Corpus Christi. So we just play, give get them credit. <coughs> uh, they brought it. You know, they they rebounded. They play hard to make us play that way. But uh, we made plays when we needed to, and we got a little bit better tonight. I know the guy next to you hit a couple, but uh, was was this as simple as, as just not shooting the basketball well? And obviously, they got in the zone and kind of stayed in it. Um, yeah, you know, guys that miss shots they normally make, um, that they will make, I, I have no doubt in that. Uh, we missed a lot of free throws. I missed a lot of free throws. We got to get in the gym and get free throws up. But, yeah, we missed shots that we normally make and that we should make. And, by, you know, as the season advances, that we're going to have to make in order to beat better teams. And, Marshall, OSU just doesn't lose non-conference home games at Gallagher Rabbit Arena, like three in the last 20 years. With building a new roster and everything, can you take that for granted? No, <laughs> you can't. Um, you got to win here. You know, the fans expect it, coach expects it, we expect it. And uh, I think it's just something about being in your home gym and somebody beating you here. It just, just don't sit well with me, and I know my, they don't sit well with my teammates, especially this guy next to me, you know. He's mentioned it to me a couple times before, so you just, you just don't lose at home. Well, what would you say if I told you the team you play next just beat LSU on their home court? Anyway? Coach Ford just told us that in the meeting. Uh, told us they got two good players. One of them is a guaranteed NBA player. The other guy, maybe. Um, it's a great challenge for us. You know, like I said, the teams get better, the players get better. See what we made of. I believe we can still beat them. Uh, it's a home game, so that should be an advantage for us, and we'll see Saturday or Sunday. Ray, you took and made some big shots there at the end. Just kind of talk about, did you feel like the team needed a lift, and, and were you able to provide that? Yeah, I was just playing ball, to be honest. Um, you know, I think it was Nick who found me on the wing. I just, I just hit a shot, and... You know, we ran a play when the shot clock was running down for a second. Coach trust, trust me with the ball. I just made a play. One thinking about it, just just playing ball. Were you guys wanting to shoot that three? And it was right after they had hit a three, and then there was a clock stop. And they had hit that that three on the other end. Their guy number five had an open look. That's when you came back <coughs> and got the three on the wing. Was that designed, or did just what opened up? Nah, um, actually, we was running play and. Like I say, Nick Sudorkis, he just penetrated the gap and he seen me on the wing. He's always looking, seen me on the wing. I just shot it with confidence. Well, you guys haven't made a three all night. You got you like over six until the last three minutes and you hit a couple. When the, when the team is cold and nobody's hit a three, is there any hesitation on your part that, like, well, it's just not your night, so maybe not shoot a three? Does that ever enter your mind or no, not so much? Now, if you would have asked me that last year, I would have said, yeah. But nah. I mean, it's basketball. To make shots, you got to miss shots. So you just got to take it as you go. Ray, what is it with your guys' perimeter uh, defense right now that's, that's having the struggles? You know, shot 60% uh, on, on Saturday, you know, 7 of 16 here tonight. Come again? The, Say the it. perimeter defense, the three-point okay. defense. I mean, what, what, what do you guys have problems with that right now? Uh, I think our reaction time is a little slow. And then at the same time, you got to give teams credit, too. They're just making shots. I told him that during the game, actually. And, um, you know, it's a long season. You never know how things will turn out or who will be out where. But uh, it, it, it doesn't matter who starts, who finishes. I've been a starter. I've been a coming off the bench guy and a contributor. It's just a matter who makes plays. And he definitely made plays tonight at the right time when we needed him to. You feel like you're getting back in a, in a rhythm from where you were right before the injury last year? Yeah, you know, up in, when I went down last year, I think I was just coming to my own as far as myself and my teammates, just really picking up on Coach Ford's offense. And, you know, I think last game I was I had a little bit of nerves despite the, ex, the two exhibition games, but I'm, I'm feeling good. My wind getting better. You know, I just <coughs> – I'm not thinking as much, just playing ball, you know, excited to be out there again. You took, to the, took the ball to the hole with confidence, especially early in the game, so obviously – you're feeling healthy, feeling ready to go. Yeah, you know, um, like I said, like my teammates, my staff, they they trust me with the ball. So anytime I do anything, you know, I try to make sure I do it to my full ability, you know, trying to win. That's the name of the game. Mm -hmm. It seems like this team right now is looking for guys to maybe score. Last year you had those obvious guys. It's like this team is looking for that. You feel like you can be one of those guys? Yes, sir.
Marshall, you ever had a night like this? Frustrating around the basket. I mean, he 12 rebounds, but he just couldn't finish. You ever had a night like that where? Man, you must have never, you must have never watched me play in the past. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. That must have been a rhetorical question. Yeah. Uh, I've had plenty of nights like that. And what's crazy is all these things y'all bring up in the media. Well, I wish we could just like record this. And I said that to him at halftime. You know, you can't worry about mistakes. And that's just come up something with me about being a senior. Because yeah. I've done that my whole career. That's my biggest problem is getting frustrated when I'm not playing how I know I should. And it's easier <coughs> said than done. It's easier for me to tell him, you know, don't worry about it when I'm making shots around the basket and he's not. But, I mean, Rail's a big-time player. It's obvious. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see he just missed shots that he's normally going to make. And um, it happens to the best of us. I've seen it happen to... You know the best players in this league that didn't play here. People miss shots, man. Like he said, you gotta miss, you gotta miss shots to make shots, and he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Be a little friendly competition between you three folks in the clue of who gets the most rebounds. Uh, uh that's what y'all want to call it. I'll find it a friendly trying to win games. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was just looking at the sheet. I'm, I'm upset I didn't get an, uh, nine rebounds. I hate that. I hate looking at those single digits. But um. Yeah, I guess we can compete if it's going to make us get more rebounds. But at the end of the day, if I want to lose that battle, I don't care as long as we're all getting rebounds. I rebound the other team. It don't matter to me. Well, and that was the case tonight. You guys are plus 11 rebounds and obviously a lot of offensive rebounds tonight. Um, guys went to the glass. Matt had a couple of amazing rebounds uh, that I was just telling him about in the, in the locker room. He had some amazing rebounds tonight. On um, rail, as bad as he, you know, quote, unquote, shot the ball, he had 12 rebounds, which is what really counts. You know, against against teams like in the Big 12, Texas A&M, Kansas, Texas, big teams like that. That's what matters. You're going to make shots if you run your offense. It's rebounding. Marshall, it seems like you really came out with some fire in that second half. I mean, do you think that's really part of your leadership role, to step it up when the team's down like that? Um, yeah, I do. Um, <clears throat> the team needed me to do some things, make plays, get a couple rebounds, and it's got to be somebody to spark it to where everybody does their thing tonight and kind of gets into a rhythm, and it just happened to be me tonight. Anything else for these guys? Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Shit, boy. <laughs>